Hi, I'm Jamie with The Saving Secret, where I help you become more intentional with your money. Today, I wanna to talk about how to begin to invest in 2020 and managing through some of the difficulties that we see in the news and how it relates to the economy and investing and making sure that you know that you're making the right decision. There's a lot of different information out there that are pulling different attentions about different sectors that are underperforming, whether that be the oil industry or the hospitality and flights and hotels, or we're even seeing articles about people moving their money into gold or cryptocurrency. So I'm gonna go into kind of the basics of investing, what you should be investing in, how you should invest, when do you know if it's the right time to invest, and we'll go over all of those things. If you're new to the channel, I share videos about personal finance. I share videos about investing, how to save more money, how to just basically be intentional with your money so you can work towards your long-term goals and help you become financially independent. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of the latest content. And make sure that you stay to the end of the video because not only am I gonna go through investing and some of those things, but I'm gonna go over what I'm personally investing in right now and what I'm gonna be investing in in the future. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. It helps me know that what I'm sharing is important and adds value to it. So if you could do that, would be greatly appreciated. In this video, I really wanna talk through and take out the emotion that we have in investing and go through some of the basic principles that are help you be successful well beyond when this pandemic is over. So the first question with investing is, are you ready to invest? And it really starts with four basic questions. If you aren't willing to answer these questions, you may not be ready to invest just yet. And the first question is very simple is, do you have money in savings? If you don't have money in savings, then you don't have money to invest. It seems very obvious, but the first question is, do you have money to invest? And if you followed my channel, I'm a big believer in putting your money first into savings and then making the decision from there where it needs to go. So that's the first question. The second questions are, are you aware of your expenses? Are you budgeting? So if you're aware of your expenses and you're budgeting, then you have a control and you understand where your finances are. The third question you wanna ask is, are you debt free? Do you not have any student loans, car loans, credit cards, anything that's holding you back? Are you able to make sure that you don't have any other debt that you need to service? This doesn't include your home if you have a mortgage, but any other debt, need to get it out of your life so you have more money available to spend. And the fourth option is, are you investing in your retirement accounts? Whether you have company-sponsored accounts or you do it on your own. One of my favorite investment accounts is the health savings account. Big fan of the health savings account. It kind of serves as a triple threat where you are able to contribute your money tax-free, watch it grow tax-free, and pull your money out tax-free if it's for qualified medical expenses. And if you've ever had a medical expense, you really are grateful that you have money set aside because I've never met a person who said, man, I wish I didn't have this much set aside for medical expenses. However, I have met several people that have gotten a medical bill and say, man, I don't understand why it's so expensive. How can I pay for these things? So having money set aside in a health savings account is a great place to start. Another thing I would encourage you to look into is a Roth IRA, if you have the option for a Roth 401k. And maybe you don't need to necessarily max out your retirement accounts per se, but you definitely want to be contributing regularly to these. So if you can answer all four of those questions, now you're ready to invest. That moves you over to what are the principles for investing? 
And there's a lot of different principles for investing, but the first principle I would say, and I hear about it online, and I see articles about it, is do not take out debt to invest. That's the first principle I would share with you, is if you are worried about the fear of missing out, don't be tempted to do it. That's gambling and that's extremely dangerous. Investing is for building for the future, not for your current bills and expenses. Your current bills or expenses need to be paid for through your checking account and be funneled through your savings account, not through investing. That is a very dangerous game, so do not borrow to invest. The second principle that you'll hear people say, which I do not like at all, is buy low and sell high. Now that is not really a strategy, and the reason I bring it up is because the only way to know that you've accomplished that is hindsight, is you're never gonna be successful. So I have coined the phrase that takes that basic principle and tweaks it a little bit to something that you can actually accomplish. And what that is, is consistently buy when you have money and sell higher than you bought. You don't know how high is high and you don't know how low is low. So in order to take that out, you need to consistently buy. But like I said before, make sure that you're consistently buying when you have money and you're gonna sell it when you want to, whether you're working towards financial independence and you wanna see it grow over the long term. And then if you sell it higher than you bought, you're being successful with investing. Another important principle is to invest in index funds, ETFs, and mutual funds. Now these are all funds that basically take a group of stocks that are different maybe from the same sector, depending on how the funds are built, but they give you an added measure of diversity. A principle you hear people say is invest in what you know. So obviously you know large companies, but just because you fill up your car with gas and you read an article about oil stocks does not mean you're an expert. You need to go dump all of your money into a energy or an oil ETF. Now, you may hear some different news about that, but that's not really the consistency that we're talking about. We don't know when the high is gonna happen. We don't know when the low is gonna happen. But when you're consistently participating, you're gonna grow. Be aware that the best information and the most knowledge comes from experience, especially in the stock market. One person that gets highlighted and kind of tagged as understanding the stock market is Warren Buffett. And one of the reasons is because he's been doing it for longer than most of us have been alive. So he has experience and knowledge. He's seen different things through the market. Now he's not always going to win every single day on every single trade that he makes. However, consistency and over the long haul he is one of the most well-known investors and he knows that consistency is one of the most important principles so those are just some of the principles of investing so now that you've got the principles what do you invest in i recommend starting with one of the larger ones, like a Fidelity or a Vanguard. They are gonna be more tailored for your growth in the future. There's a reason why they manage billions and billions and trillions of dollars. They're not a fly by the seat of their pants company and they, they're built for the long haul. And so what do you want to invest in? Again, like I said before, you're gonna wanna get, whether it's a ETF, an index fund, or a mutual fund. And one of the great ones to get started with would just be a broad-based total index fund. That's a great place to get started because you're getting broad exposure to how the total market is performing. All other stocks and funds are compared to how well do they do against the 
market or the S&P 500. So if you buy the S&P 500, you're not worried about beating it, but you're consistently growing. We see year over year, the growth over the S&P 500 has been more than 7% for the last 100 years. So the symbol to look for for Fidelity would be FZROX, or if you opened up with Vanguard would be VOO, VU. So these are two index funds that you can get started with and that's a great place to start. Now at the beginning of the video, I did tell you that I would share what I'm currently investing in. So just like at the beginning of the video where I asked you to go through those checklists, I've done that for myself, yes. I have money in my savings account, yes. I've eliminated debt from my life, yes. I budget monthly and yes, I'm investing in my retirement accounts. But what am I doing to invest past that? Well, for that, I'm investing currently in paying off my home. I've been working on paying off my home for a little over two years, and I've been consistently paying extra on that each month. And just because the coronavirus has st started doesn't mean I'm changing my plan. I am staying consistent in paying off my home. And come July 2021, in just a little over a year, I plan on having my home paid off. And if you're interested in why I'm working towards paying off my home before going with an outside investing, you're welcome to check out that video of four reasons why I'm paying off my home. After I pay off my home, yes, I am going to do just like I mentioned earlier, I will be investing in Fidelity Growth Fund, total market S&P 500, and I'm also gonna be investing in a technology fund. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to make sure that you get the latest content on from The Savings Secret, where you're plugged into a community where that you can help work towards financial independence. Also, be sure to hit that like button if you liked this video. If you have any questions or comments about the video that I just shared or any other future videos that you'd like to see, please feel free to put that in the comments below. I will respond to every question and concern and comments that you have. I love reading those. Feel free to check out some of my other videos that I had done in the past. You're welcome to check out some playlists to get some binge content on how to be more intentional with your money. But thank you so much for watching and have a great day.